Hello and welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of Toucan Plays and welcome to another toy unboxing. Today we're going to unbox series 28 and a special doubles pack that I talked about last episode. So the first but one that we're going to unbox is uh, <laughs> Swine and Dash. I was just mouth mouthing out. Thanks KN James. KN James TV actually sent this to us as a Christmas present. So thank you to KN James TV. If you haven't checked them out, be sure to check out their channel. They've got lots of really cool diecast stuff on their channel. Anyway, so they did send me Swine and Dash, and I thought that it had completed my Series 28. It hasn't quite completed Series 28 for me. I'll talk about which ones I'm missing at towards the end. But for now, let's talk about Swine and Dash. So Swine and Dash is one of the first of the uh, the food truck series. One of the coolest ones, got the barbecue theme going on. We've got some black BKT tires, some gray rims. Got that Swine and Dash logo on the side there. And then uh, kind of what a zebra print, or maybe I guess they're tire tracks uh, on the, uh, what is it, an apron? There's an apron over a pig. <laughs> I, it's a cool theme. I really like it, like this whole barbecue theme. And there's the pig butt with a little curly pig tail on the back. <laughs> it's awesome. And then, of course, the flames from the barbecue grill going up the side of the, uh, the, the swine and dash, the truck. Uh, I like the little details, though. There's there's right there. There's like a fuel port where you can fill up the gas. And then there's a handle for the the, the driver's side door. And here is the front. You got uh, two little snoots for the uh, the porker, the snout for the uh, the pig. And on the side, too, you've got the detail of the snout for the pig. Uh, it just matches up really cool. I like it. I like the color scheme with the uh, kind of maroon. And of course, there's always the jokes that are on the uh, the menu board. Wheelie hot ribs, $9. Big rig pig for $12. Coal slaw for 6 E85 bread. I'm not sure what E85 is. Somebody leave me a comment. Let me know what that is. And then BK iced tea for $1.50. <laughs> Very cool. I love all the little puns on the menu board. Swine and Dash is awesome. Thanks again, Kane James, for sending it to me for Christmas. Really do appreciate it. I think I've only got a couple more of the food trucks left to get. I'll keep my eye out. All right, next up, Series 28, we've got Son of a Digger. Now, this one is kind of your standard Son of a Digger. <laughs> Let's get it open. There it is in all of its glory. Shoom! And I do like the, the blue rims and the white BKT printing on the tires, the purple roll cage, and the black chassis. That just looks really, really sharp. I like the color combination on this Son of a Digger. And, of course, the, uh, the logo on the side looks really cool. Something about the graphics, though, it just doesn't look quite right. It, it looks just a little out of focus. Maybe it just doesn't done right. The, the graphics on the top look fantastic, super clear. Scrap looks awesome. The Son of a Digger looks awesome. The blue flames look awesome. But yeah, for whatever reason, the printing on both sides, it just looks really blurry and hazy. I don't know what the deal is with that. But uh, yeah, still a really cool Son of Digger. I've got a whole bunch of Son of Diggers at this point, but yeah, that's expected <laughs> when you're collecting. Uh, I do like this variant. Oh yeah, and the headlights. <laughs> I did get that one that had a misprint on the headlights. This one looks okay. Uh, yeah, overall solid Son of a Digger variant. I like the color combination. Uh, Son of a Digger. All right, next up we've got the phased out uh, Earthshaker. Get that open noise now i will say the phased out is not my favorite uh, you guys know that uh, but this earth shaker i think this one's probably my favorite of all of the phased outs i like the color combinations that they've got on the tires and of course on the side we've got that whole uh, kind of printer head misalignment deal going on and you can really see it with the title earth shaker on the side there you can see how there's the main yellow earth shaker and then there's kind of like the uh, magenta that's a little off center there and that kind of that that whole theme scheme however you want to say it uh, kind of incorporates around the entire truck like in the front there you can see there's the yellow and then there's the magenta that's kind of off center and uh, the same thing on this side too the earth shaker is on different sides and even the e is a little bit cut off the tires are pretty cool too you got that solid yellow you got a black and yellow you got a white and gray and another black and yellow uh, pretty cool mix-ups, and, and they they match the Earthshaker body really well. 
black chassis, gray roll cage, and of course the dirt is also got that same kind of printer head misalignment uh, wackadoo <laughs> look to it. Overall, like I said, I think this is my favorite out of all of the phased outs. Phased out is not my favorite series. I'm glad it's gone, but uh, you know, this one ha it definitely showcases it. I, I think, you know, because Earthshaker is kind of like a big billboard, it's able to showcase that, that whole aesthetic of, uh, being misaligned better than you know some of the other ones like especially uh pirate's curse pirate's curse was the worst out of all of them but anyway earthshaker is good all right here we go next up let's get this open Arr, come on got it this one is my favorite out of this series 28 and that is backwards bob this is the first backwards bob that i've, I've been able to add to my collection Oh man, I love Backwards Bob. It's such a cool concept. I know that it didn't really work all that well in real life, but it's so cool. <laughs> like you don't know if it's coming or going, right? <laughs> Is it going forward? Is it going backwards? Who knows? It's crazy. It's Bob. So you've got that blue roll cage, white, I'm sorry, yellow chassis. Of course, the here I come on the back, raw. <laughs> uh, but you know, the only thing that I don't like about this particular uh, backwards Bob is that it's got these the standard gray rims and, and beadlocks that don't really match up with anything else on backwards Bob. The blue and the yellow on the chassis and the, the roll cage matches up perfectly with the backwards Bob logo on the side of the truck. Uh, but yeah, the uh, the tires are kind of for me. <laughs> I don't know. Not my favorite uh, ma matchup with the tires. I do like the white BKT printing on the tires. Uh, and I love uh, the whole just the whole concept of, of backwards Bob. <laughs> he's just he's just so silly. <laughs> he's a funny guy. <laughs> funny, funny Bob. All right. And there speaking of Bob, there he is on the front uh, <laughs> looking at you like, which way am I going? I don't know. And the arrows, <laughs> just a very cool. I said, that's not the front, that's the back. <laughs> you just never know with Bob. <laughs> anyway, that is a backwards Bob. All right, next up, we've got Double Decker, another new addition to my collection. I have not been able to find a Double Decker up until now. This one is the steel reveal version, so there is no paint on uh, on the actual body. Uh, or at least that's the way it's supposed to look. There is some enamel that's covering it, but uh, it's supposed to look like there's no paint on it. Uh, it, it feels kind of rough, actually, and I think that's kind of cool, like a little bit of extra texture. Uh, and again, you know, Double Decker is kind of a big billboard, kind of like uh, Earthshaker is, and so that, that whole steel reveal aesthetic shows off really well on this one. Uh, the colors on the chassis and the roll cage, I think, are meant to kind of represent the colors that used to be on Double Decker, um, but are no longer there. And then the red in the rims and the beadlocks, uh, I think also are meant to represent the colors that are supposed to be on the, the actual body, but are not there anymore. Either way, you know, red, green, and blue are, are a good color mixture. They, they go really well together. Those black BKTs, no printing, no white printing on them. That's okay. Got that black raised lettering. But uh, yeah, Double Decker is a pretty cool truck. I like um, the overall body style of it. I don't think Double Decker was a real truck. I think it's uh, only a toy. And leave me a comment if I'm wrong. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it would be kind of cool if it was a real toy or a real truck. But uh, yeah, but I don't think it is. Um, either way, pretty neat. Got a car on the top and a big old semi on the bottom. It's kind of like a, uh, a tow truck kind of thing. Cool. I like Double Decker. All right, next up, we've got Dragonoid Blue version. Now, I I don't watch Bakugan <laughs> uh, a whole lot. You know, it's a, it's a little before my time of watching cartoons. Um, but I imagine that all of the different color variations, oops, I dropped it, uh, represent the different characters from the Bakugan universe. Leave me a comment if you are a Bakugan fan and let me know which one this was supposed to represent. I do love the color schemes on this one. Those yellow rims, yellow tire, or yellow beadlocks rather, and the black tires. Now they don't quite match the body, the chassis rather. Uh, I'm not sure if that was an intentional choice or if they just didn't quite match up, but they do match the, like the yellow on the tail, the yellow on the fingernails, and the yellow on the horn and the eyes. Um, but for whatever reason, it doesn't match the chassis yellow. I don't know why. Now the blue of the roll cage does match very well with the body, the blue on the body. And I like that a lot. I, I, I love it. I love the aesthetic. The whole aesthetic of this blue dragonoid is, is really cool. 
Um, but, uh, you know, like I said, I, I don't know why they didn't match the chassis with the yellow of everything else, but, uh, yeah, they didn't. <laughs> Who knows? But anyway, yeah, there's the Bakugan logo there on the top. And, uh, of course, like all of the different Bakugans, the, uh, the arms will move, the tail, or the, not the tail, the wings will kind of flap a little bit and the horn will rock back and forth. Uh, it's kind of a, a neat little feature of the Bakugan Dragonoids. But anyway, there is the blue Dragonoid. Okay, now the other one that I'm going to open up during this episode is the two pack from uh, Series 27 of the du du the doubles. Um, the Double Down Showdown, I think is what they're called. Uh, <laughs> these are a little harder to get open. <laughs> the, the, the singles packs have a nice little uh, notch that you can use to pull it open really easy but the, uh, the doubles are glued shut. <laughs> but anyway, so this one is another Bakugan. This is the traditional red Bakugan. I've got so many Bakugan Dragonoids now, uh, but I do like the uh, the chassis, uh, the ro roll cage rather, how it matches up with the eye, uh, the green in the eye and then the roll cage. Um, and I like how the red in the rims and the beadlocks match up with the body. And then of course the black, uh, the, the red and black it goes throughout the whole thing, the black of the chassis matches up with the black in the body and the black in the tires. And again, you know, the wings kind of flap a little bit. The arms kind of move and the horn moves back and forth. Uh, otherwise, it's a pretty standard uh, Bakugan that goes with this two pack. Nothing really too special about it, to be quite honest. But here are the uh, red and blue next to each other. I think they look pretty cool together. <laughs> Anyway, so here is the other truck that came in that two pack. And this is the main reason why I bought that two pack is because uh, I don't have this truck and I thought it looked pretty neat. I like the gold on the roll cage, kind of a, a little more metallic looking, uh, even though it's plastic, it looks a little bit more metallic, kind of shiny. Uh, again, I got the red tires and red and it matches really well with the red body and the red chassis. Uh, and again, like I said, I don't watch Bakugan, so I don't know what that care. I'm assuming that is the Dragonoid, their character. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the characters are, but uh, I still think that it's a cool looking pickup truck. And I think it's a cool aesthetic for Dragonoid to have a second truck. And I don't think that this is a real truck either. I think this is just for the toys. Uh, Spin Master also produces all of the Dragonoid toys. So I'm sorry, the Bakugan toys. So um, they they kind of have that license to, to they, they probably were testing out to see if they could uh, uh, sell more Bakugan related monster truck toys. <laughs> but you know, whatever, whatever works for them. I still think it looks pretty neat. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to watch the show based off of the monster truck, but uh, I do think it's it's a pretty cool thing to showcase off all of the different Bakugan uh, characters. And there's the three of the Bakugans all sitting right next to each other. All right, so this is the uh, card back for series 27 of the double packs. I I'm probably not going to get any of the other um, of, of the doubles for series 27. And I'll tell you the reason why is because I I've already got pretty much everything that's on here. Uh, yeah, here is the Monster Mutt. Now, uh, it's not exactly the same. Like this one's got a gray chassis and it's got a, a gray wheels. And this one's got a red chassis and black, or, I'm sorry, black chassis and red wheels. But otherwise it's pretty much the same thing it's the old school monster mutt uh and that's the only thing that uh that's really different about it and i don't really see a reason to get that now the only reason the only other pair of trucks that i'm really interested in getting is the bad company uh because this one is the black body bad company and this one over here is the orange uh bad orange body bad company i have not been able to find the, the bad company Earthshaker combo anywhere um so if i find it i might pick it up but for now uh, I'm kind of happy just not picking up anything. And of course, I've got a million Grave Diggers and I got a million Grave Diggers of the Legends. So I I'm not really all that heartbroken if I can't find any of the other Series 27 of the double packs. Um, so I, you know, this might be it for Series 27 for me. This is the, you know, the Series 28 singles. I'm missing three. I'm missing Monster Mutt. I'm missing Grave Digger and I'm missing Zombie. And again, I've got a million Monster Mutts, a million Grave Diggers and a million Zombies. So, and I'm, I'm not going to go out on eBay to spend, uh, you know, twice what they're worth and, and encourage people to go out and scalp. And they, the scalpers are the reason why I can't find any of these in the stores. So I'm definitely not going to encourage scalpers to keep doing what they're doing. So for now, 
now I'm just going to be happy with what I've got. And uh, maybe someday I'll uh, you know run into some at a, a thrift market or something. Hey, do you know me a huge favor, though? If you've enjoyed this video, smash that like button. It really does help get these videos out to more people. It lets me know that I'm doing a good job and it allows me to continue sharing this great hobby with you guys. It gives me the opportunity to keep going out and buying more monster trucks so that I can uh, share this hobby with you guys. What's your favorite out of all of the, the showcased trucks today? Was it the Bakugans? Was it uh, Son of a Digger? Was it uh, Swine and Dash? Thanks to Kay and James. Thanks again, Kay and James, for providing that for me. Really do appreciate it. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Check out the video that you guys see on your screen right now. And hey, we'll see you guys on the flip side. Later, everybody. Have a good one.